Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock on 4.1, 4.2, and 4.2.1. Now, this is an update to my last video. I just showed how to do it through Ponage Tool, but Red Snow Beta 5 has just been released, which allows you to jailbreak your iPhone 3G, 3GS. Um, on 4.1, 4.2, 4.2.1, and also unlock it using the baseband um, install from the iPad. So I'm going to just show you that right now. We're going to open up Red Snow. We're going to browse for a firmware. In this case, I'm going to be using an iPhone 3GS firmware just because it shows every instance. iPhone 3G is very simple. Of course, this is. Um, it is tethered on um, iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, although iPhone 3G is untethered. So we're going to want to click yes if you have a new boot ROM, and um, you'll see right here the way to determine it, and or click no. I have Hello, a Hillen. old boot ROM, is this newer? and then we're going to click no. So I have an old boot ROM, so I click no. So then we click next. It's going to do its thing, basically decrypt the firmware, and yeah. So right here, of course, you're going to want to install Cydia. You, this is very important. You're going to want to install iPad Baseband. Very simple. You're going to want to click yes. Um, this is very important. Click yes. Um, from there, you can choose if you want verbose boot, custom boot logo, of course, depending on your device. Next thing you do is you click Next. Now you're going to want to make sure your device is t completely turned off, and you're going to want to click Next. This will guide you into the ways to put your device into DFU mode, um, which is right here. From there, it's going to um, basically say booting, um, it's going to upload RAN disk, basically jailbreak it completely, and um, yeah, so once you get that all done, depending if you're white, if you have white city, you're going to have to redo, um, you're going to have to re-jailbreak with Red Snow, you're going to have to open it up on your Mac or PC, and instead of installing um, Cydia and an iPad Baseband, if this is if your Cydia is white, you're going to want to click Just Boot Tethered, then do the same process. Now, once your Cydia is all loaded up, we are going to go to our iPhone view, and I'm going to show you exactly how to install the unlock now that your Baseband has been patched to the iPad. So let's go over to the iPhone. Okay guys, now that you fully went through with Redstone, you're going to want to go to your device and open up Cydia and make sure that all refreshes. So right here on the device, you're going to want to go open up Cydia. So we're going to open up Cydia. Now let's just do that right now going to make sure that it always loads data and again this is for the new baseband that you just used Red Snow to update to which is 0615 now make sure Cydia 100% downloads all packages and refreshes that is what's going on in the screen right here and if you notice my talking isn't exactly lined up with the video that is because I had to use voiceover um, so here we go, waiting for it to reload data. I do apologize, and here's the iPhone 4. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I had that, but um, basically that's all recorded. And this process does not work for the iPhone 4, that's why I just showed it. So you're going to want to go over to Manage, Sources, then Edit up in the top right corner then click add and you're going to want to type this in repo dot ultrasnow dot com no repo six 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 dot ultrasnow dot com 
And now this is in the description as well as on the video. So you can see right there. And just add that source and make sure everything refreshes. Once you do that, come back to the video and click on the repo itself. So right there, you're going to want to click Ultra Snow uh, 1.2. And right there, it says all the um, what it's combat compatible with and what base bands. So basically, you want to install that. Click confirm and uh, basically reboot your device and um, insert your sim. Now, for some people, you have to actually um, go into settings, which I will show. Um, you have to go into settings and turn off 3G because some 3G bands are different for um, some networks. So, right here, you go into settings general network and turn off that enable 3G toggle. So once you do that you're basically all set to go. Okay guys and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Mr. Tech, and also go to my website hackmyiphone.com. All these links are in the description as well as a written tutorial as to how to do this. So guys um, I guess I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe and I'll see you.